So here we are, still with the ongoing virus controsion, um, conviral, um, whatever it is, nasty on your computer. And I can think of better ways to spend my Sunday afternoon, but there you go, these things have to be done. Because I like using this laptop for doing various things on, and sometimes I do use it because it's quicker than my older computer, which is in here and that is my cable modem down there flashing Virgin Superhub and this is my old Dell 4550 as you might have seen and I'm going to be upgrading this to a Dell Rostro 200 when I get one at the right price I'm not buying a new one because I've got a solid point computer systems depreciate quite a lot um, if you're interested, it's found Kapaski Lab, which is um, it's found something called Detected Pact Dot Win32 Crap HC. <laughs> what a name for a virus! Who makes these names? Honestly, I'll just read that again to you. Oh, it's gone now. Crap it. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, it is crap because it makes your computer crap. So, yeah, I'm glad that's gone. I'm glad that's gone. So, we had a bit of a naughty on my computer then, by the looks of it. Let's just see what's going on here. But I've had to, what I did was, um, I reinstalled, oh, great stuff. I um I've just got up to the font now. I had to talk. It's amazing how much time you can spend trying to get rid of this. I was going to say crap then, but I've said it already. Rubbish on your computer. Honestly, I can think of better ways to spend my Sunday afternoon than trying to get rid of piddly things that some moron, and that's all they are that writes this rubbish to the, gets on your computer. But I'm glad now that it's all sorted out. Sometimes you have to be um, quite tenacious with these things, don't you? If you want to get them sorted out, you have to um, you have to keep playing. When I've um, got this all sorted out, I'll let you know what I did and how I got on. Just in case, what happened? I don't know um, exactly what happened, but I downloaded something off CNET's website of all places. It was a Skype. Um, Adam, supposedly, but for all I know, it might have been just some. I don't know. <laughs> you know something? With a reputable site like that, you won't think you get a problem like that, but it just goes to show you, doesn't it? You know, you can download something and it just installs all junk on your computer, and before you know it, you can't do anything. <coughs> but what was happening was, I was opening Chrome, and um, when you go to. it. The default start page, which I have as Google normally, because that's where I do all my stuff and what with Google Plus and everything, that's where I tend to, you know, everything is. I can see all my notifications and everything, and I just like using Google. It's my favourite um, favourite search engine. Not that I use it all the time now. I mean, most of the, a lot of the time I get information off social media and stuff. So, but just in case I need to use it, you know, I do. Um, <coughs> so. Yeah, so let's have a look, see if, um, so far, this is the, um, what's this name that I use, antivirus, and it's not found anything yet, so. Up to now, so, which is, uh, I'm glad about. Uh, looks like Google Chrome's been uninstalled, so. Now, um. It's just a matter of re-downloading it and reinstalling it and see if that cures the problem. <laughs> it's the trouble with these um, the malware, it, it's written in such a way they make it hard to get rid of. So, you know, when sometimes your average user comes along, um, they can't always get rid of these problems. So, yeah, 
it looks like I've managed to get rid of um, well uninstall Google Chrome now just <clears throat> it's just a matter of um, what's it Right, well, I'm gonna use it. Oh God, look at this! I, I don't know about you, but I haven't used IE for ages, and I just can't stand it. It's, I hate it. I really do. It's a horrible browser. I don't know why they changed it. The design of it was so much better before. What's this? <laughs> right, I'm gonna um, download Chrome. So see. It's Sunday afternoon, and I'm chilling out, doing a small piece of vlogging. Still um, well, working on the um, browser hijack malware problem, so <coughs> hopefully get it sorted out eventually. Um, I didn't think I'd have that many problems with it, but obviously so. Um, I'm running an antivirus scan. I use um, I think so far Kapaski. I'm going to. Um, just go down here. There we go. I'm going to get rid of Google Chrome and reinstall it. See if that um, helps. Because you never know; it might have got into the browser itself. It's hard to say with these things. I've had malware problems before, and it can be right pain in the buttocks, as Forrest Gump might. Buttocks, as far as Cunt might say. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear me. Oh, I can't stop sneezing. <laughs> oh, so there we go. The state of play. <coughs> as it is today. Oh, I'm a poet and I don't know it. Folks, here is a warning. Do you ever wish... This is my laptop, and um, I'm using a program called Malware Bytes. And the reason for showing you this is because I've got some frigging <laughs> malware on my laptop, and it's stopping me from using Google Chrome. And I like Google Chrome; it's my favourite browser, mainly because it integrates with Google and um, makes everything seamless. And I can use it across multiple computers, devices, and I've got all my laptop. Uh, bookmarks and everything so now I've just not so long ago I did a scan and it found about 78 items which I was surprised about because normally I'm quite good on computer security etc but this morning I downloaded and this goes to show you how careful you need to be sometimes when it comes to these things I downloaded um, some software because I wanted to try um, something that integrates within Skype, it was a language converter and I was quite interested to see how it would work. Something I got in mind. <coughs> so I put it on and like these things do, they install so many other things that you don't want. And now, every time I open Google Chrome it just crashes, it freezes. Whether that's um, an intentional thing I don't know, but whatever it is that's on my computer just doesn't want to be removed for some reason. So. <coughs> I'm trying to get rid of it using this program. I've used it before in the past and it's worked quite well. And at the moment, we might not be able to see, it's found zero objects, which means it's not found any problems. So, the only thing to do is just leave it scanning and then come back and see if um, <coughs> it's found the problem. Otherwise, I might have to try something else. It's dead annoying when you want to do something in it and you can't because some muppet in the world or um, numpty has wrote a program that cripples your computer if I open Chrome now it just freezes my computer I can't do anything I have to keep restarting it so I'm hoping this will find out whether what the problem is or I might actually install the Chrome uninstall Chrome and see if that cures it and start again so lesson to be learned don't download things off the internet sometimes because they put rubbish on your computer that causes more problems than they're worth. End of lesson, eh? 
here endeth the lesson for today on computer malware. This was brought to you by computer malware removal. <laughs> that cat's got the right idea, look at him. It's off past seven. I don't know whether you can see the clock in that house. Kevin's next door neighbour, it's off past seven.